shake this. Before we get going, what I really want to do is say a special thank you to people I consider absolute heroes in this process. Irene may for some have seemed just like a very severe weather event that just really included rain. But for so many people in Ulster County, there has been total devastation. I have been in places like Phoenicia, where a river of three feet of mud has rolled through. I have seen houses picked up off their foundations and spun. And I've seen acts of bravery and courage from our emergency management personnel, our sheriff's dive team, our, our, our fire departments throughout Ulster County, and all police agencies and volunteers. I have seen tremendous acts of bravery that have saved people's lives as we take on the worst weather occurrence we have had, the worst natural disaster in our county's history. That's what we are looking at right now. Even though it is under the skies of beautiful blue skies today, we have been through an absolute upper right cross from Irene. Now that said, we are going to make it through this. We're going to come out the other side. We have mustered a tremendous force in Ulster County to make sure that the people of Ulster County have business as usual and return to the quality of life that they have enjoyed before Irene came through. But make no mistake, it's not going to be measured in days, it's going to be measured in months as we move through this process. I'm going to give you a couple of quick anecdotal experiences I had over the course of the last two days. First off, 